Look, okay, I'll be level-headed with you, kid. It's been a fucking minute since I uploaded on the Carecast channel. It's been a long time since I uploaded anything. Since I even record, I mean, since I even recorded the vinyl video, which I still, it, it's taking fucking forever to edit. I don't know why. I'm fucking lazy. How about that? Suck my ass. It's been an interesting year so far. I feel like burning my Collingwood membership. We won the fucking granny, but uh, we played like shit because we've only got a fucking VFL side in. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, anyway, this is to let you know that I'm not dead. Um, sorry this video took forever. Uh, let's go on to or along with the video. Now, I know it's been a very long time since I've actually spoken about vinyl records on my channel, on the KeyCast channel, but as of recent, I've really been getting back into collecting and spinning records. So, I want to make a video dedicated to what my collection is and also speak about why I, I like vinyl and why I love vinyl so much. Before we jump into my collection of vinyl, let's go over why I love it so much. Now, the easy answer is I own the music. Spotify is great. There's a time and a place for digital streaming. For me, I just like physically owning the music and actually being able to listen to the music. Uh, I like investing into it. And vinyl has like a warmth. Like there's a warm sound that there isn't with Spotify. And that's one of the main reasons why I love it so much. It also helps support the artist when you actually buy the record. Because when you stream a song on Spotify, the artist gets like, fuck all money from a stream now i know money's not everything but i mean if i was an artist and i was making music i want to make some money from it but yeah there's just a certain warmth and even the imperfections like the snap crackle pops like to me that just adds character and adds charm and also it's uncompressed music sure apple music has it spotify doesn't fuckers and i know you could also use the oh but Adobe Atmos. But sure, that's cool. And it is really cool, especially Bohemian Rhapsody and Adobe Atmos. But to me, there's nothing more exciting than listening to it on a record. Let's jump into my collection. Starting off. Now, I do have multiple versions of the same record, so I'm not going to go over the same thing again, because uh, some of them are the 180 gram half speed remasters. Some are like original or reissues. Um, yeah, so starting off, we've got Queen, Queen 1, uh, good album, uh, it's got Keep Yourself Alive, Liar, just yeah, really, really good album, really good first album from Queen, and yeah, I, I like it. Also, if you don't care about the whole collection and just want to see like bits and pieces and it gradually grow, click the icon here or here. Alright, so following on from Queen 1, we have Queen 2. Whoa! Uh, you'll quickly learn that I've got like all the Queen's studio albums. Um, Queen 2, again, really good album. Um, it's got Seven Seas of Rye, uh, March of the Black Queen, White Queen as it began. And what I really like about Queen 2 is it's not called the A side and the B side. It's called the White side and the Black side, which I think's kind of cool. Moving along, I've got She Heart Attack by Queen. Even though She Heart Attack wasn't on till the News of the World album. So She Heart Attack, it's got uh, Tenement Funstar, Lily of the Valley, uh, Flick of the Wrist, which I think is like the sort of opening or the gateway per se to Bohemian Rhapsody. It's also got like Brighton Rock, Now I'm Here. So yeah, brilliant album. Really, really enjoyable album to listen to. Now we go to A Night at the Opera by Queen. So with A Night at the Opera, I've got the two versions of it. I've got the like a half-speed remaster and like an Israeli pressing that's got like a red coloured record. The Israeli one, for some reason, doesn't sound as good uh, as the half-speed remaster. Um, I've given it a wash a couple of times and you... yeah. But anyway, um, still brilliant album. I, I love it. I love how the second last song is Bohemian Rhapsody on the album. 
So you just go through this album going like through uh, Death on Two Legs, Dedicated to um, Seaside Rendezvous, 39, I'm in love with my car. And then second last song, bam, the magnum opus, Bohemian Rhapsody. Continuing along, Day at the Races, uh, we've got Tie Your Mother Down, You Take My Breath Away, and of course, Somebody to Love, Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy. Um, again, another really good album by Queen. Uh, it's an album that I really quite enjoy listening to. Moving along, News of the World, probably my second favourite Queen album. I wonder if you can guess which one my favourite Queen album is. News of the World, um, We Will Rock You, We Are The Champions. I mean, brilliant, brilliant songs. Um, but then you also got songs like It's Late, where Freddie goes absolutely bowls to the wall and hits like one of his highest notes. But then you've also got All Dead, All Dead, sung by Brian May. And again, that's also got one of Freddie's, or Freddie's lowest notes. So it's really a diverse album with Freddie's like vocals, if you ask me. It's an album I love. I love All Dead, All Dead by Queen. I really love that song. I've always loved it. From the first time I listened to it, I've always loved it. Now we move on to jazz. Jazz. Uh, Don't Stop Me Now, Dreamer's Ball, um, Bicycle Race, uh, Fat Bottom Girls, Fun It, you know. Um, again, another really good album that I quite enjoy. Don't Stop Me Now is my favourite Queen song. Now the thing that I also really like about this album is that the record itself is pink like the vinyl itself is pink it's a limited edition it's got pink um when you open it up it's got the naked women on the bike doing the bicycle race so that's pretty cool as well now moving on i've got queen live in concert which i'm pretty sure it's a pretty rare album which also coincides with the next album as well queen live killers live killers is like the whole set Whereas with Live in Concert, it's Live Killers, but it's only a one LP. It's not double LP. Now, if you ask me, Live Killers on Spotify and that, I don't really like the sound quality of it on Spotify, but on vinyl, ho, oh, to me, it sounds magnificent. I, it, It's amazing. It's incredible. Then we move on to The Game. Again, two copies of The Game. Now, A Game is an album that, personally, I actually haven't listened to all that much. <gasps> Scandalous. Queen fan doesn't even listen to all albums. <sighs> it's definitely an album I'm going to have to re-listen to. It's got a crazy little thing called Love. Another one bites the dust. Um, Save Me. Dragon Attack. So I really do need to re-listen to the album because it's... From what I remember, it's a good album. Just, yeah, I haven't listened to it in a very long time. So Now we have Flash Gordon by Queen. Now, to be honest, I haven't actually opened... Flash. It's still on the shrink wrap. Flash is one of the albums that I own that I haven't actually listened to. So that means eventually I'll get around to listening to it very soon. Very, very, very soon. Now we've got Queen Greatest Hits. Double LP. This is the, I believe from memory, it's the best-selling record in the UK. And I mean, it's got Queen's catalog from the 70s all the way up to The Game and Flash Gordon. It's just all their greatest hits rolled into one album. If you don't like the album tracks, how do you? then pick this album up. You'll love it. Hot Space. Uh, an album that initially, the first time I listened to, I was like, this isn't Queen. This sounds like shit. Now I, <laughs> I actually really like Hot Space. It's a really enjoyable album. I actually love Hot Space, like Cool Cat, um, Under Pressure. Uh, so yeah, really good album. Don't be like me and be a fool. Listen to the goddamn album, motherfucker. Sorry that I'm yelling at you and telling you to do shit. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want it. Queen The Works. Again, another album that I own two of. Uh, the Works was actually one of the first albums that I ever bought. News of the World and A Kind of Magic were the first albums that I ever bought. Uh, or they'll gift it to me by Christmas, technically. The first album I ever bought was a Billy eilish one for my sister i almost said billy joel we'll get the billy joel later the works was one of the first ones i bought second hand um and yeah brilliant album really love it man on the prowl radio gaga i want to break free machines or back to humans i really like machines or back to humans i think it's a really solid album really solid now i've got uh freddie mercury's 
uh, Mr. Bad Guy album. This is the special edition. Um, I don't know where I managed to pick it up from. Probably like JB Hi-Fi or something. But again, it's an album that I've owned. I've listened to it before, but it's been a very long time. So it might be one of those records that I have to spin relatively soon. Freddie Mercury, Never Boring. Again, an album that I really need to listen to again, because it's been an album that I've owned, I've listened to. Now with Never Boring, it's got, oh, I can't even think of what the song's called. It used to be on Spotify and then it got taken off. I think it was Living On My Own. So point the vinyl, I can still listen to that song and I fucking own it. So fuck you, Spotify listening. Moving along, I have One Vision, the 12 inch single on vinyl. Now it does say not for reselling, only for demo versions. And I own it, so take that, dickheads. Spotify again, doesn't have the extended version. Vinyl does. Point to vinyl. Cop that. Kind of Magic, as I was mentioning before, first album I ever bought. It's a banger of an album. Again, Freddie's vocals are just balls to the walls with like a kind of magic, Princes of the Universe, just to name a couple of songs. Give me the prize, that's nuts. Now we move along to Queen, live at Wembley, 86. I thought I'd never own this album. I genuinely thought this album, I will never own. I own it. <laughs> it took me a while to find, but now that I own it, I'm really happy. Moving along, we go to The Miracle. Um, weird album cover. The back of the album cover is weird as well because it's all the, just their eyes. It's a, bit, it's a bit funky, but I like it. The Miracle has some good songs on it like um, Was It All Worth It? Um, yeah, so it's got, uh, well, The Miracle itself. Got some really good songs on it, and I really enjoy it. the album. Listen to it. All I'm saying right now is, I own a lot of Queen albums, and you should listen to them. This audio recording's been going on for 17 minutes, and all I've been going on about is Queen. Innuendo, I mean, favourite Queen album, if you can tell. Favourite album, if you can't tell, by Queen. So it's got Innuendo on it, which I love Innuendo. Uh, it's got, yeah, it's a banger of an album. Uh, Freddy goes hard vocally, even though he's a very sick, dying man. Uh, and let's quickly move along to Made in Heaven. The last studio album that was released, released four years after Freddie Mercury's death. Um, beautiful album cover of the statue in Montreux, Switzerland. And then you open it up to the backside, it's the rest of the band members sitting there looking at the statue itself. So yeah, good album. Um, listen to it. All right, Elton John's first album, Elton John. Uh, it's an old album that I picked up from uh, like a secondhand like vintage store. I haven't really listened to it from memory. It's pretty dirty, so I'll give it a clean and give it a listen to. Um, but yeah, really need to listen to that album. It's got some good songs on the album from what I've listened to on Spotify. <gasps> but yeah, definitely need to listen to it. Tumbleweed Connection. This album... I've had for a while, and I only just recently listened to it, and I actually really quite enjoyed it. It's got a green vinyl, well, this has a green vinyl record, and yeah, it was a good sounding album, um, really like the album. Don't ask me what songs are on it, because I don't remember, so I'll need to re-listen to it. Madman Across the Water. I've got two versions of Madman, the standard like studio version, and the second one is a coloured record that I bought at Abbey Road when I was in the UK. I haven't listened to the Abbey Road version yet. It's probably the exact same as studio version. But yeah, I really need to listen to Madman Across the Water again. It's got Tiny Dancer on it, and that's pretty much like the only song I know off the top of my head. Honky Chateau. Got Rocket Man on it. I think I want to kill myself. Um, really good album. I've got two versions. I've got this and like the uh, anniversary edition version that has all the demo recordings on it. Uh, good album. Listen to it. I I'm speed running now. Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player by Elton John. I really enjoy this album. It's an album that I didn't really like listen to all that much. Because uh, I'm like, oh, it's got Crocodile Rock on it and Daniel. That's like the only two songs I know. And then listening to it, and Elton did perform this live at Amy Park last year. But Have Mercy on the Criminal, I think is a... It's an underrated song. I really love Have Mercy on the Criminal. I think it's a brilliant song. Um, so if you can pick up this album, pick it up. Good album. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Brilliant album. Got Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Candle in the Wind. Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting. So really good album. I've got two versions. The normal 180 gram remaster and 
think it's another remaster, but it's yellow. Like the vinyl is yellow. Caribou. Again, it's an album that I've owned for a while, um, but I've only sort of recently properly listened to the album itself. Uh, don't let the sun go down on me. It's good. Uh, everyone knows that. But yeah, even the album tracks go pretty hard on this album. So yeah, very impressed. Rock of the Westies. An album that I have, I haven't really listened to all that much. I genuinely thought Don't Go Breaking My Heart would be on the album. It's not. So I really need to give uh, give it a listen to again very soon. Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. An album that I hadn't really listened to all that much. Recently put it on and again, yeah, another brilliant album. It's got Better Off Dead, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy itself. Someone Saved My Life Tonight, which I really love that song. So yeah, good. Blue Moves. An album that I've had for a while, it's from memory again, pretty dirty. I haven't really listened to it all that much, so I definitely need to give it a good old listen to. A Single Man. Now, this is still in the shrink wrap all the way back from the 70s, I believe. Original from the 70s in the shrink wrap. So I'll never open it. I'll never play it. All I know is it's got Song for Guy on it. So I might need to go find a half-speed remaster and give that a listen to. Too Low for Zero. It's got my favorite Elton John song on it. I'm Still Standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also got Arrow on it, which I think is really good, like, album song. It's got Kiss the Bride. So really, really good album. Breaking Hearts by Elton John. Uh, an album that I've really only listened to, like, once. Um, it's got Sad Song Say So Much on it. It's, like, the second last or last song. I remember there's an album song called Little Refrigerator on it. But yeah, need to give Breaking Hearts a listen to again. Ice on Fire. It's been a while since I've listened to Ice on Fire. It's got Nikita on it, uh, which is a really good song, a song that I really like. So yeah, really need to... There's a lot of albums I really need to like listen to again. Sleeping with the Past. It's... I bought it for like 10 bucks. It's scratched to the living shithouse and it's dirty as hell. Will I ever play it? Probably not, unless I manage to get a half-speed remaster of it. But yeah, really want to get it, because there are a couple of good songs on it, like Club at the End of the Street and Sacrifice. So I really want to get this album as like a half-speed remaster if I can. Now I've got Elton John, One Night Only, The Greatest Hits, a live concert album, um, which obviously has his biggest hits on it. Same as Diamonds, which... We'll get to in a second. So, Elton John, One Night Only, live album, really good, really, really good album. Um, yeah, glad I actually picked that up. Now we got Jewel Box Rarities and B-Sides. Still in the shrink wrap, I haven't listened to it yet. I will get around to it eventually, uh, but it's just, yeah, an album that I really have to give a listen to. Now we got The Lockdown Sessions by Elton John. Um, this is his latest album, I think, where it's like him collaborating with heaps of different artists. It's got Cold Cold Heart. Uh, it's got Nothing Else Matters, the cover with Miley Cyrus singing Elton on piano. Uh, pretty good album. Pretty good album. Got Gorillaz on it as well. Now, Songs from the West Coast, again, an album that I haven't really listened to, so I'll get to that when I get to it, really. Diamonds, just like Queen Greatest Hits, it's all the greatest hits. Can't go wrong there. So we got the Bohemian Rhapsody album, which is the soundtrack for the movie, uh, where it's got just, it's like Greatest Hits again. It's got some live versions of songs on it, and it's also got the Live Aid set on it, not the whole set. There is missing crazy little thing called love and we will rock you but again really good album really enjoyable um yeah now we've got barcelona by freddie mercury it's an album that i've had for a while i really like barcelona on it so i really need to give the album a good listen to greatest hits part two again greatest hits but from like the 80s to the 90s so, greatest hits. Now, Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is an album that I bought in, or at Abbey Road. Uh, listened to it for the first time not too long ago. And holy shit, was that an enjoyable listen to. Like Lucy in the Sky Diamonds, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's a really good album. I actually really enjoyed it. The album cover is amazing. And yeah. Love it. Abbey Road. Again, an uh, album that I've had for a while and I've only like properly listened to because uh, I've listened to Here Comes the Sun and Come Together before. Even though all the Beatles hated Mactol's Silver Hammer, I actually think it's kind of a bop. 
Good album. Good album cover. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Beatles and Let It Be again. Can't go wrong with the Beatles. It's got Let It Be on it. Uh, it's got Get Back. Really good album. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, I need to listen to it some more. Imagine by John Lennon. Still in the shrink wrap. I haven't listened to it yet. There's a lot of, or a couple of albums that I do have. I've listened to most of my albums, but not quite all of them. So we'll get there eventually. Now I've got Apex Blooms. Yesterday is a universe away. This is an album that I actually thought was really cool. Like really cool concept where they tried to make it sound like every song like went into one song. It didn't sort of like cut and, but you could tell that it was a different song. If that makes sense. So, really cool album. Comes with a free CD as well. Gorilla's Song Machine, uh, an album that I've had for a while. I've only listened to, like, once, really. So, I'll need to give it a good, proper listen. Same with Now Now uh, by Gorilla's album I've had for a while now. I just need to give it a good listen to. So, now we get to Billy Joel. So, I've got Cold Spring Harbor by Billy Joel, his first studio album. And it has Tomorrow Is Today, which I think is a beautiful song. I really, really enjoy tomorrow is today the whole album itself is a good album piano man by billy joel um again really good album it's got piano man on it billy joel's first single um from what i've been told and yeah it is a beautiful album turnstiles by billy joel uh again really good album angry young man prelude um it's got new york state of mind which i actually prefer the album version over the like version that's on Spotify and streams everywhere. So I really enjoy Turnstiles. Good album. I only recently picked it up as well. The Stranger, probably my favorite Billy Joel album. Got absolute bangers on it, like Only the Good Die Young, Vienna, uh, Scenes from an Italian Restaurant, Moving Out Anthony's Song, uh, The Stranger. It, really good album. Really enjoyable album. 52nd Street by Billy Joel. Good album, really good album. Um, I've only listened to it like once or twice, uh, so I can't think of all the songs off the top of my head. I know Zanzibar's on it, um, My Life, but yeah, really good album. Uh, probably need to give it a good clean, but yeah, really quite an enjoyable album. Glass Houses by Billy Joel, really good album. Again, an album I've listened to a couple of times. Um, it's got uh, uh, Still Rock and Roll to Me. Uh, little, little, little other songs that I can't think of right now. Um, but yeah, really good album. Um, need to give it a real good listen to again. The Nylon Curtain by Billy Joel. Again, it's an album I've had for a couple of months. Listened to probably once. So need to give it a good listen to again. We got The Bridge by Billy Joel. Again, got Matter of Trust on it. Really like this album. And An Innocent Man. I think I need to give it a real good clean. It's got Tell Her About It, Uptown Girl, Innocent Man, The Longest Time by Billy Joel. I don't think I've really listened to it. I think it's pretty dirty. So, so again, I'll need to give it a pretty good clean. But yeah. Then we got Billy Joel Live at Yankee Stadium, which I think is probably my favorite sounding album that I own. Like it just sounds so clean and so immaculate. When that needle, when the stylus runs through the grooves, it's just, oh. Akadaka, Highway to Hell. It's got Highway to Hell on it, and that's the only song I knew on the album. But I've listened to it a couple of times, and I actually think it's a pretty solid album. Back in Black, it's got, obviously, Back in Black on it. Shoot the Thrill, uh, good album. Um, good Australian band, so yeah. Go the Aussies. We make good music sometimes. Queen, uh, the single, we, are, we Were Champions, We Were Rock You. 12-inch um, vinyl. Uh, so it's just the two songs, the singles. Led Zeppelin 3. Still in the shrink wrap. I haven't listened to it. I've listened to Led Zeppelin 4, which we'll get to next. But need to take it out of the shrink wrap and give it a listen to the whole thing. Now we've got uh, Led Zeppelin 4. 180 gram remaster cool album cover and it's got uh stairway to heaven on it so you can't go wrong with a bit of stairway can you now in excess kick uh it's got kick uh never tear us apart um again good australian band good good songs michael jackson thriller it's obviously the thriller album fucking brilliant album by the way uh it's got thriller on it so yeah really good album really enjoyable and yeah need a yeah, listen to it more. Now to end our 12-inch 
album collection or my 12 inch album collection john farnham whispering jack it's got you're the voice on it uh it's what like the actual record itself is white and i think it's quite an enjoyable album all right oh i i did lie i've got bo burnham's uh inside on album um which really cool and then going on our seven inch singles i've got bohemian rhapsody i'm in love with my car and i actually prefer the version of i'm in love with my car from the seven inch single over the like studio version or the ones that are on the album and then billy joel's latest song turn the lights back on really enjoy the song it's the extended version and yeah so anyway that wraps up my vinyl collection um thank you for sticking around for so long um goodbye